This is Jordan Tao with JT News. Make sure you smash that like button, smash that subscribe button. Let's get right into the news. All right. So we got Chrissy Teigen, and she admits that she did not lose her baby naturally last time. She admits that she had an abortion because halfway through the, the baby would not survive halfway through the pregnancy. Here's the thing. She's doing this to also talk about Roe vs. Wade over the summer caused her to reflect on the challenging experience. I told the world we needed, we had a miscarriage. The world agreed we had a miscarriage. All the headlines was miscarriage. And I became really frustrated that I didn't in the first place say that it was an abortion. Like, you just want to be, let's just call it what it is at this point. Because this woman's always trying to like get in the headlines. And it's very weird because like, you know, everyone's, she's having another baby, right? So why didn't you just admit that last time that there was some complications and blah, blah, blah? Why did you, why do you have to work it in to be a part of what's going on in the world right now? That's weird. Okay. And the, what was weird is they took a photo shoot in the hospital room. They had like maybe 50 photos that they shared online of them when they, decided to do that now that's a traumatizing experience okay and i feel for them for that you know they, they it was traumatizing you know because like if the if it's gonna have comp if if the baby's gonna have complications why don't you just say that and say that you know it, it, it was terminated because of that why do you have to like maybe what like i'm beginning to think that she just changed the story now to fit what's going on in the political climate which is like, come on, man. Come on. Like, we're talking about a family here, human life. Don't do not do it just to be part of politics. Congratulations on your new baby, but come on, man. Uh, I, I don't... I, it's, it's to, yo, social media is, is scary. <laughs> That's all I can say. Bay Area-based uh, rapper Kafani receives a seven-year sentence for identity theft scheme. Um, he was part of an identity identity theft ring, which is, ugh, you know, I, I have no, um, I have no sympathy for that, man. If you're doing identity theft, and then he has this long post. Eight years ago, I was uh, five times the neck. The people, blah 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 blah. Uh, I bounced back like a champ. Fab used to uh, come to my rehab. I can't support this guy because he was part of identity theft, man. You ruin people's lives, man. Uh, young Guru speaks on Jay-Z warning Rockefeller Records about uh, 50 Cent. Guru uh, credits 50 Cent for being an incredible hook writer. 50 Cent reacts to this and says, love you guys too. I just needed somebody to compete with. It makes me uh, find a way. Jay, no, I will always find a way. Jay-Z likes competition, too, <laughs> for sure. Cardi B, we kind of talked about this already. So she got two misdemeanor charges for throwing buckets at the girls. Not She didn't hire, she didn't get accused. Of, she's not found guilty of hiring anyone to go after Jade and her sister. But Jade reacted to this and said, You will always know the truth. You know it's Cap. You know what you did. This is Takashi's girlfriend. And that's it. That's a, that's a quick recap of what's going on for right now. Again, congratulations to John Legend and his wife. But come on. She's always looking to be a headline. And it's weird, man. It's really weird. I, I wish she would stop doing that. Anyways, this is Jordan Tao with JT News. Appreciate you all. I will check you guys in the next one. Peace.